Well, let me just start, start off by uh, thanking you all for your hard work, and uh, and just uh, I want to express my uh, immense admiration and appreciation for everything that you've done to build uh, Giga Nevada and to help revolutionize the world. Uh, with, uh, this, this, this factory has made a massive effect on transitioning the world to sustainable energy. Um, and it's uh, something you should be inc incredibly, incredibly proud of. Um, and I'm incredibly proud of you guys for, for doing it, so. Yeah. Let's see. So we've, we've made uh, incredible progress at Tesla in building this factory and achieving a tremendous output of cells, uh, drive units, power electronics, uh, stationary battery packs, um, but there's more. So um, it's hard to believe that it was almost a decade ago that we started uh, that we started building this place. Um, I mean, I can remember coming out here to the uh, Tahoe Reno Industrial Complex, as it's uh, interestingly named. Um, and, um, and it was nothing, there was just rocks. And, uh, and now I've got this incredible factory, it's the most advanced uh, cell and battery and powertrain factory in the world. And um, yeah, it was literally from a pile of rocks. So it actually took, took me a moment to sink in. I, I, uh, I spent so much time in this factory since, I actually was, was uh, camping at, out on the roof at one point, in a little tent, um, just to sort of sa save time from going to the hotel, just pitch, pitch a little tent on the roof and live there. It gets pretty cold at night, I have to say. <laughs> um, but just coming in here and seeing all the snow on the ground, I mean, this is such a, a beautiful area that we're in. Um, and uh, the, the wild horses, I think people sometimes don't believe me, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's basically like paradise around here. It's, uh, I think it's 10,000 wild horses uh, just roaming around, um, snow on the mountains, uh, uh, you got Lake Tahoe nearby. Um, so it, part of this, by the way, is a, a recruiting call for <laughs> 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 um, Because we, we're gonna need a lot of people. So um, definitely uh, talk to your friends and family and uh, about uh, coming to work here, because uh, we're gonna scale up big time and it's gonna be great. So, yeah, um, yeah. So it, it's interesting to see the original goal. Um, we thought, uh, you know, uh, you know, we, at the time people thought this was a crazy amount of batteries to make. Um, in fact, th this was, uh, when we started out, this, this one factory was set up to build more lithium-ion batteries than the rest of the world combined. Um, and it remains by far the biggest uh, factory in North America. And, um, and the, the reason we built it was because there, there literally weren't enough lithium-ion batteries. Uh, if you took all of the factories on Earth combined, it, it wouldn't be enough uh, to make uh, electric vehicles at scale. So that's why we concluded we had to build a factory a really big factory, which is why we, where the Giga part comes in. Um, so it, it's uh, one of the biggest factories in the world, and it's it's going to get get bigger. Um, so in in 2014, we we projected uh, 35 gigawatt hours of battery cells, and um, yeah, and we're there. So we've done 
$6.2 billion uh, of investment. It's uh, over 5 million square feet, uh, 11,000 team members, and we have 3,200 acres, of which we've still only used a small portion. So we've got plenty of room to, to grow. Um, and I should say that the, you know, uh, what uh, I'm announcing today is actually not the end of it. Um, it's just really phase two. So there's going to be like phase three and, and, and four. I mean, it, it really, it just takes um, a tremendous amount to transition the world to sustainability. You've got to have giant factories uh, if we are to move the world to a sustainable energy future. And um, yeah, so it's, it's great. Um, so where we are right now is we've, we've made uh, seven, over seven billion uh, cells. We're actually almost more cells than people. In fact, we're, <laughs> so, yeah. and we've, we've done um, over three and a half million drive units, so motors and power electronics. Um, we've made uh, a million uh, energy modules for stationary storage. So it's, yeah, exactly. So I always remind people, we also make stationary storage. That's very important. Um, I mean, the, the three elements of a sustainable energy future, the three pillars, are uh, electric vehicles, stationary storage, and, and then solar and wind. And because solar and wind are intermittent, you have to have the stationary storage to, to uh, store the power for when the wind isn't blowing and the sun isn't shining. Pretty basic, really. Uh, so it's a three-step, three, three pillars. Um, and this is all very doable and will be done and, and uh, will bring civilization to a sustainable energy future. So, that's, yeah. And in terms of the uh, economic uh, uh, impact, it's really substantial, $6 billion of total economic output every year. So uh, we've also put uh, uh, $37 million into K-12 education, and we're going to increase that. So and, and it's focused on robotics and sustainability. So, yeah. So just, uh, yeah, once again, uh, thank you for your uh, incredible work to bring us to this point. Um, and um, it wouldn't, obviously, thanks to you. So this, this photo is, is uh, from our millionth energy module that we made just last Wednesday. So um, yeah, the risk of being repetitive, thank you very much. Now, all of that was just the beginning. Well, phase one, at least. <laughs> um, and so we're, um, at what, what we're announcing today is a, a massive additional investment. Um, and um, here's a sneak peek of what the factory will look like. It's gonna look. It's like, sick. <laughs> um, so, um, I mean, you know, one of the other things that's really cool is that we actually achieved our um, production goals with basically about half of what of the space we thought would be needed. So uh, now we're gonna fill out the other half, and uh, so we're you know on to phase two. So um, we're gonna be investing. And I should say these are conservative numbers, so we'll, we expect to exceed these numbers. Um, I think we'll end up investing over four billion. Um, we're adding another f uh, four million square, of, uh, square feet of manufacturing space, and at least three thousand jobs, d direct jobs. And I think it'll probably end up being uh, more, more than that. These are conservative estimates. So, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so we're, we're, we're going to do our high volume uh, semi-truck manufacturing here. Um, and, uh, 
And then we're also uh, going to be uh, adding 100 gigawatt hours of, uh, 40, of, of Tesla 4680 cell manufacturing here. And that's just to start. Uh, I think long term, we, we may do as much as uh, five, uh, yes, as, as much as uh, 500 gigawatt hours long term. Uh, but this increment is uh, 100 gigawatt hours. Um, and um, yeah, so hugely important, uh, game changer. So just some videos of 4680 production. Um, we expect the new cell factory, as I said, to produce uh, at least uh, 100 gigawatt hours. And um, as I said, that's, that's really just to begin with. Um, long term, Tesla is aiming to produce uh, uh, well over 1,000 uh, gigawatt hours, um, possibly uh, two, two or 3,000. So this really is just the start. And that's equivalent to one and a half million additional Model 3Y vehicles. Um, and, uh, and they will also be using 4680 for stationary storage as well. Um, and, and, and to be clear, this is in addition to our suppliers. So when you think about the fact that there's uh, two billion cars and trucks on the road globally, um, obviously you've got to build a lot of electric vehicles to replace all the gasoline-powered vehicles. And then uh, about as much as, what, again, is needed for stationary storage uh, for sustainable energy. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's actually really incredible to think about. So. And, um, yeah, some people have said uh, this is impossible, um, but uh, you can drive it. <laughs> so. And in fact, we, we already have uh, Tesla, the Tesla semi truck uh, in use by some of our key customers like Pepsi. Um, and um, so that this year is kind of like the, the limited production uh, of the semi truck. And then hopefully uh, sometime next year we'll be able to achieve uh, volume production. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's a game changer. So uh, although uh, trucks, Semi trucks are only about one percent of the vehicles. They're actually responsible for twenty percent of the emissions. So it's a, it's a much bigger effect than you'd think if you just looked at the number of vehicles. Um, it's an essential part of a sustainable energy future. Uh, and this is a this is a beast. You can see it hauling ass up the mountain there. Pretty cool. <laughs> so so and um, I'd like to say just a. a, a, a also, a big thank you to the state of Nevada. And um, I'd like to invite Nevada Governor uh, Joe Lombardo to join me. Well, first and foremost, you guys look awesome. And I want to thank Elon. I want to thank Elon for his partnership in helping improve your quality of life, my quality of life, and changing the world. So thank you. A round of applause for Elon. So I appreciate everybody coming together today. It give me the opportunity to say hi, first and foremost. And hopefully some of you saw my state of the state last night. Did you? Hopefully I said some things that made you happy, made you happy, but I think we will. So what is my role in this process that we're talking about today? And obviously Elon's here to change the world. I'm here to change your life. Well, I just very really clear, um, I, I'm just the right, <laughs> I, get too, I get way too much credit if the credit is theirs. No, I understand that. So Elon talked about uh, his three pillars with electric energy, right? You got the EVs, you got the storage, and you got wind and solar. So my three pillars as your governor is the economy, education, and your quality of life slash public safety. 
No, that's all part of it. So the economic driver is obviously Tesla. And it's changing the environment and your lives and Nevada's lives with your placement here in the state of Nevada. And now today with this expansion, it's even going to double the quality of life and the economic engine and the drivers for us to be successful in the whole state of Nevada, in particular to northern Nevada. And so there's a young man in the, in the audience that just came on my team, Tom Burns. Can you come up here? If you don't mind, is it okay? <laughs> so you in the back can't see him. He's short. <laughs> um, but uh, Tom is the new director of the governor's office of economic development. And he is the one instrumental in partnering with Tesla to ensure that we get this project off the ground and built and ensuring that it goes in perpetuity into the future. So thank you, Tom. So that, that's the economic pillar, right? That's the economic pillar. So the education pillar for the labor force, for the engineers and, and everything else that takes to run a village, especially something as magnanimous as Tesla, takes an education system and a university system to produce those individuals to occupy those jobs. And there's a very important person in the audience I'm going to bring up, and it's former Governor Sandoval. Come up here. So you may not know, but he's also the president of UNR, where a lot of you might have went to school. So the president of UNLV was here a little while ago, but he decided to leave, and, which upsets me because I'm from UNLV and I wanted a little competition going on here. But I, I appreciate uh, Brian Sandoval being here. And, and for those who also may not know, Brian Sandoval and Elon had a handshake agreement several years ago that started this whole thing in its infancy. So thank you, Brian. Thank you for your support. Thank you. And the last piece in this is your quality of life slash safety, in particular to I-80 right here, right? Tracy, Tracy. Can I get Tracy up here? Tracy Larkin, come on up. <laughs> Who's shorter, Tom or Tracy? So, so for those of you in the back, there's a young lady up here. She's the new director of the Department of Transportation. I informed her, her major task, her primary task, is the expansion of I-80, creating a safe environment for you to go to and from work. <laughs> and to ensure that semi-truck gets on the road and gets out of here. Yeah. All right? All right. So that's what we're going to do for you for the state of Nevada, and that's what I'm going to do for you as the head of state of Nevada, and hopefully we can partnership with you into the future and ensure we have a very, very, very long-term relationship and everybody gets to be friends. So thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you.